Hello everybody, and welcome back to Terminator Resistance. And we're going to continue, and we're going to go find... I want to say Conrad? Colin. Colin. I don't know why I'm thinking Conrad. Uh, but we're going to go find Colin. Um, and I'm actually surprisingly enjoying this game. It's, it's a really weird thing that I'm actually enjoying it. Um, I don't know why, because the... the uh, the um, the voice acting is definitely not the best. The game itself, I don't, I don't think it actually is higher quality than some other games. I mean, some other big AAA titles. This is, seems even more high quality than that. The overlay is a little less high quality than the actual like game itself. The graphics, and even then, they're not super high. But I'm okay with that. It's fine. It is fine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, and we're going to go get Colin, or find Colin. He went out to meet a guy. Hopefully he's not dead, which he might actually be. But yeah, this is actually quite smooth, and I'm, I'm glad I got it on PlayStation, because I, I mean, unfortunately... There's a lot going on with um There's a lot going on right now because of the coronavirus. Um I'm recording this at the same time um as a lot of stuff. I'm not going to really talk about it cuz I don't want to really bring that on my channel much even though I've mentioned it in a couple of videos. But um because of that, I'm just probably not going to be able to buy as many games right now. Um, so yeah, I'm just probably not going to be able to buy as many games while this is going on, which is... It's going to be happening to a lot of people. I mean, otherwise, the game, the game scene is going to become a bit more popular. And I'm going to be trying to upload a decent chunk. Uh, because it's probably the best time to upload on YouTube. The best time for people to find videos. As much as that's sad to say, people are going to be cooped up in their house. And they're going to they're gonna want to watch something. They're going to want to watch videos. Okay, there's something on the other side. So this is the best time to uh, upload videos and just to get a response. And I'm starting, um, actually at 317, I'm starting uh, on, not Uncharted, The Last of Us. Uh, and that'll be going and corresponding with um, Dark Souls. I'll be doing one Dark Souls video and one Last of Us video per day. Uh, depending on which video I think will do better, it will be depend on the time. One will release at 9 in the morning, and one will release at... Noon. It'll give one video more time to, to simmer. Um, but yeah, so there's a little update. It'll probably... This probably won't get out in enough time, because... Um, what I might actually do is I might release this in corresponding with um, Amnesia, or once Amnesia is finished, I'll start releasing this. But I, again, I don't know how long this game is. Colin, where are you? Can you hear me? Colin? Okay, Colin's all right. I'm actually really enjoying this game right now. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually very entertaining. And it's kind of just freeing just to have a shooter, like a, a Terminator shooter. I can't wait to start shooting Terminators. 
Colin go. Colin. Hey. Don't don't hurt me. Uh okay, Colin Colin is Colin's dead. Colin Jacob is dead. Oh, you're a terminator. That's not good. Oh, who's here to save me? Who are you now? Another new character? We kill a character off, add a character. Are you alright? Jacob? Jacob! Mm. The voice acting is not that good. It's kind of taking me out of the moment. The whole scene wasn't the best either. But, you know, whatever. So, um, well, oh, geez, picked up my phone to check the time and I just dropped it. Uh, so we met a Terminator, marked for termination, has to be a Terminator, and Colin is dead. And are we back at Hours our hideout? Later, they found me lying in front of our hideout. I made it out alive, mm. but not all of us did. Colin's dead, and the yep. stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe. So we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. But nothing happened. Jacob? Are you awake? How long have you been sitting there? Not that long. I I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh. you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. Be careful. Oh, and... Ryan wanted to talk to you. Hey kid, you're not half bad. Heat from the plasma rifle cauterized the wound. That's why he's not bleeding. But damage to the skin made the burn prone to infection. That's what we need to worry about. Wow. You're really smart. <laughs> I learned all that before the war, and thanks to Judgment Day, I didn't even have to pay off my student loan. Hello, Laura. Hey, you're off again? I'll see you later. I'm gonna stay here and help Aaron. Okay. Hi, Aaron. Morning. Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. When I saw that it was a single bullet, I wasn't sure if he was being helpful or if it was a warning. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. Okay. How's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left. But hopefully Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. How do you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? That I care? 
Right now, I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. Do you think you could help more people by joining the Resistance? <sighs> Honey, maybe ask me that question when you finally find them. Because for now, I don't think they even exist. Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me? How did you know about the Annihilation Mine? I heard the rumors, like everyone else. And then, like everyone else, I decided to ignore them. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us, but they decided to keep me alive. So, that's how I ended up in a camp. Maybe they thought it would be worth having a doctor in there. I don't know. What happens at those camps? People get tortured, experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first. But I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You were actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like, like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? About that camp. What do you want to know? How did the machines communicate with you? There was this one machine. We called it Nurse Ratchet. It was designed to look almost friendly. It wore an awful, smiling, rubber human face. At the end of every week, it took the weakest of us for experimentation. My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder. So I had to plan an escape. Did Skynet ever notice she was pregnant? Well, we tried to keep it a secret, but when she started showing, they informed me that after the birth, I would have to kill the baby. Otherwise, they would execute the whole cage. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Were you still behind the Annihilation Line? Yes. We couldn't find anyone for days. We thought we were the last of the human race. Just the two of us and a baby girl. We ran to protect her. But deep down, we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. Okay, Aaron. kind of more of taking than giving, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay. In that case, why don't we head up? Okay. Now sit. Roll over. Fetch. We've got a lot to learn. Aww. Jacob, thank you for finding him for me. I promise I'll take good care of him. Now. What should I call him? How about Max? Max? That's a good name. I like that. Hi, Max. Kid, kid's not too bad.
There we go. Boom. I know I promised to stay awake, but I'm getting tired. Wake me when you get back from the hospital. I'm just gonna close my eyes for a moment. If you're feeling it's a bit more than a moment. <laughs> I actually do have to go put something in that chest, okay? Hey, Ryan. You want to talk to me? First of all, thank you for bringing me that toolkit. That bus should be mm -hmm. ready in no time. Good to see you finally turn the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she hmm. left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right. I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be. However, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker hitting on this lady guard or people covered in mud. But for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that band. You have a brother. My, I did. Older brother. Well, he was a ladies man. We didn't have tickets to the concert, but he knew how to charm a lady. She let us in. Well, him. <laughs> I tagged along like I always did. Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a bit of a view of the stage, you know. So as we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. What was it? Took me a while to understand what I was looking at. The atomic mushroom cloud wasn't something we were ever supposed to see. My bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was uh, people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. It finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Now, what am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh, God, I remember the name of that band now. It was Captured by Robots. How's that bus coming along? I'll make a run again. Don't worry about it. Besides a couple of rusty rotors, it got a whole lot of character. Question is, where do we go from here? That is the question, isn't it? I'm not gonna go out yet, though. Sorry that he got the dog. But I am. Yep, and then I'm gonna go grab those things. And I think I'm gonna head out and try to find a save out there, like an actual save, because personally I always like to save at an actual save and not. Close that. Let me close that. And then I'll put the, the healing stuff. In here, okay, and then I'll okay, boom. Okay, and it's going to be time to head out, and we're going to look for 
a save. I know it saves here, but I do kind of want to look for a save out there. Worst case scenario, I just record another video. <laughs> I'll try to find a save in like five minutes. I don't know if it'll show up on my map yet. I'm waiting for it to load. It's having a bit of a hard time. I can't wait for next gen consoles when the loading times are greatly reduced on games. Okay, well, I do want to check. Okay, no, I gotta explore a little bit. So let's go see what I can find. Because I can't go back now. So, worst case scenario, I'm just gonna have to record another video. Once in a while, there's this unbearable screaming coming from that hospital. We need to see what's going on. Let's move. Well, hold on. Hold on. You need to go. Let me. Picking locks is kind of my thing. Voila. Every once in a while, there's an air unbearable scream coming from the hospital. Oh, Looks like a silverfish got him. They're every scavenger's nightmare. Ooh, look, this poor guy is still holding a sound decoy. Sound decoy. Ooh. You resistance guys just shoot at everything that moves, don't you? Silverfish are sensitive to noise, so before it pops up from the ground and starts chasing, you throw a sound decoy. It'll draw any nearby silverfish away. I guess you can take it. You won't be needing it anyway. Did you hear that? Oh. That's the sound I was talking about. I don't think you should go any further. And what about you? I have to go. That could be the resistance. I understand. I uh, feel stupid asking you this, but Aaron wanted me to Aaron find wanted some uh, antibiotics for Mark. Antibiotics for Mark? I'll get some. I know I'm not making it easy on you, but if you're in there and you find some, she... We would really appreciate it. I'll yeah, see no what I can do. And remember that your gun won't do you any good against Terminators. So when you see one, do what I do. Sneak past them. I'll be waiting for you at the hideout. Take care. It won't do good against Terminator? Why not? I want to shoot some Terminators up. Right now, you need to start answering some questions. There will be a time for that, but right now, you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, there was nothing I could have done. It was either him or you. And it could have been you. Hello? Okay. What does that mean?
Jong. There we go. Boom. That was it. That was a waste of a lockpick. There you go. Give me a save. And you can hack sky terminals and turrets. This is it. Where's my save? I would like a save. Okay, well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.